Gulliver's Travels is a satirical novel written by Jonathan Swift, first published in 1726. Here's a concise overview. 1. Plot Summary The novel follows Lemuel Gulliver, a ship surgeon, on four fantastical journeys to distant lands. In the first voyage, Gulliver finds himself stranded in Lilliput, a land inhabited by tiny people, where he becomes embroiled in political intrigue and power struggles. The second voyage takes Gulliver to Brobdingnag, where he encounters giants and experiences the challenges of living in a world where he is the tiny one. In the third voyage, Gulliver visits the flying island of Laputa and its surrounding lands, where he encounters absurdities in science, academia, and government. The final voyage takes Gulliver to the land of the Huynums, intelligent horses who rule over the savage and brutish yahoos, leading Gulliver to question the nature of humanity. 2. Themes and Satire Gulliver's Travels is a biting satire that critiques various aspects of human nature, society, and government. Swift uses the fantastical settings and characters to satirize political corruption, religious intolerance, colonialism, and the follies of human behavior. The novel explores themes of power, identity, perception, and the nature of civilization. 3. Literary Style Swift employs a straightforward narrative style, with Gulliver serving as a reliable and often naive narrator. The novel blends elements of adventure, fantasy, and social commentary, creating a unique and thought-provoking work of literature. 4. Legacy and Significance Gulliver's Travels remains one of the most enduring and influential works of English literature, admired for its wit, satire, and imaginative storytelling. The novel has been interpreted in various ways over the centuries, with scholars examining its themes, characters, and political allegories. It has inspired numerous adaptations, including film, television, and theater adaptations, as well as sequels and spin-offs. Overall, Gulliver's Travels is a masterpiece of satire and social commentary that continues to captivate readers with its timeless themes and imaginative storytelling. Here are some one-liner question answers about Gulliver's Travels. 1. Who is the author of Gulliver's Travels? Jonathan Swift. 2. When was Gulliver's Travels first published? 1726. 3. What is the full name of the protagonist, Lemuel Gulliver? 4. How many voyages does Gulliver undertake in the novel? 4. 5. In which land are the people tiny and Gulliver is a giant, Lilliput? 6. What are the people of Lilliput called? Lilliputians. 7. What is the primary conflict in Lilliput? Political power struggles. 8. Where does Gulliver encounter giants? Brobdingnag. 9. What is the land of Laputa known for? Its flying island and absurdities in science and government. 10. What are the intelligent ruling species in the land of the Huims? Horses. 11. What are the savage and brutish creatures in the land of the Huims called? Yahoos. 12. What does Yahoo come to mean in modern usage, a slang term for an uncultivated or brutish person? 13. What is the primary theme of Gulliver's Travels? Satire on human nature, society, and government. 14. What does the novel criticize through its fantastical settings and characters? Political corruption, religious intolerance, and colonialism. 15. What does Gulliver's character represent in the novel? A naive and sometimes unreliable narrator. 16. What literary style does Swift employ in Gulliver's travels? A straightforward narrative style with elements of adventure and fantasy. 17. How has Gulliver's travels been interpreted over the centuries? As a political allegory, a social commentary, and a work of imaginative fiction. 18. What is the lasting legacy of Gulliver's travels? It remains one of the most enduring and influential works of English literature. 19. What adaptations has Gulliver's travels inspired? Film, television, theater adaptations, as well as sequels and spin-offs. 20. What does Gulliver's Travels continue to captivate readers with? Its timeless themes, imaginative storytelling, and biting satire.